The Royal Rumble is next Saturday. That's right. Y'all ready for a Saturday Royal Rumble? Wait, this Saturday? Yeah. Oh, shh. Okay. Oh, man, Vinny. I'm going to have to do... I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Lance asked me, and I told him that you already confirmed it. So I, I did. Because, uh, I don't know why you're mad at me. I'm why not, are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I am not okay. mad at you. I'm mad at life. I'm very mad at life right now. I'm sorry, Brian. That was shocking and bad news. I didn't expect. It is not your fault. I'm not Thank mad you. at you. All right. But I'm mad. I even told my son, I said, this isn't going longer than three minutes. And then it did. <laughs> Liar. Yeah. I hope you I learned lied. to listen to you. Just like I told him the GCW main event was going to be awesome. Somebody said it was his first GCW show, and it was one of the worst shows you've ever seen. Wow. What did you think? Uh, the good was good, and the bad was really bad. Mm. Jay Briscoe just tweeted out, uh, fuck pay-per-view time restraints. I was expecting a bloodbath. There was none of that. There was some doors broken, but uh, we're way off topic on uh, Rampage. Jurassic Express cut a promo about Billy Gunn being a salty old bitch. And it was all Jungle Boy doing all the talking because his partner's a dinosaur. I continue to love everything about Hook. Every second of every step of everything he does. His judo is awesome. His double wrist lock takedown is awesome. He did a head and arm suplex that was just a thing of beauty. I wanted to cry. Beach break in Cleveland, Ohio. I don't know how that happened. I'm going to actually find out. Turns out there are beaches. There's Edgewater Beach, Perkins Beach, and uh, they list Perkins Beach twice. So not that many beaches, apparently. <laughs> oh, you can go to thisiscleveland.com and nope. uh, go to the page Beach, please. I feel like Rampage Baron Dynamite two weeks in a row now. Probably Same. true, yeah. And in three weeks, I'm going on a Hawaiian vacation. Yeah, it's going to be uh, Brian and Vinny go to Hawaii. We're going to be doing shows on the beach. I may get fucking hammered for every show we do. Just wow. just for the hell of it. Hangover 4 starring <laughs> Brian and Vinny. You don't even know. You, we will lose the baby, I guarantee you. You don't even know. Does Dave ever do anything like this? Are like you kidding on... me? Are you out of your mind? No, no, he does not. He doesn't go on anything? Well, actually, he went to uh, Japan a couple of years ago and uh, brought back COVID. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he had fun there. What is the life lesson you learned the hard way? Hmm. All of them. Yeah. Never peel a carrot in the nude. <laughs> Would you rather watch a wrestling pay-per-view on a Saturday night or a Sunday night? Doesn't matter to me. Of course it doesn't matter to you. You're 92. Excuse me. 70% said Saturday. Man. Only 30% said Sunday. Not a fan. No. I just told Vinny to get ready to laugh because I have I didn't uh, recopy any of it, so it's all from notes. What's with your internet the last couple of weeks, Granny? It's uh, Zahn, Z-A-H-N. Is that Sammy? Or is that two different people with red hair? Sammy Zane. Okay, he's the one that stood there and was pretending he was electrocuting himself? Yes. Dummy. What? <laughs> Hook has fast moves. Seem to be confident. Hate Hook already. She's got him nailed down. The Undertaker likes to fish. His fondest memories from childhood are fishing with his dad. What's that got to do with it? I was going to say, no what idea. the fuck does that have to do with anything? All righty. Bye. Okay. Bye. I'm trying to order this book. Oh, God. Here's Brian. Can you put that thing on a chalkboard? We're in the middle of COVID, yeah. and these two creeps are walking through the crowd, licking other humans in the face. They have sheep herd immunity. <laughs> that was a good one, Craig. Craig got me. Craig, that was a good one. Craig got me. Sheep herd immunity. Why can't Reno Riggins, uh, Reno Casino Cheater, why can't he have a job, but Repo Man has a job? Reno Casino Cheater. Yeah, Reno Riggins. You're rigging the Reno Casinos. That's I see. That's fucking name. You didn't know that, you idiot. You never knew why he was called Reno Riggins. That's new stuff. God. Me. Here's a card counter. God, Jesus, Vinny, please. Huh. I love uh, how angry this makes you. Well, no shit that's what Reno Riggins is. I just now got it after 46 years. I don't think we're going to get away with uh, not reviewing WrestleMania 9 in our togos. Our what now? Togos. Togas. <laughs> Thought maybe Dick might come over. So I don't think we've got an excuse. Oh, I got plenty of them. <laughs>
Craig, you're sitting at a desk. Brian, I haven't worn pants on the show for two years. The springboard cutter off the ladder spot, it's all anyone was talking about. Nobody talked about the finish. Nobody talked about who won. Nobody talked about what was next. Nobody talked about any of that. They just thought this spot was awesome. And I watched this match, and I can confirm this spot was awesome. This, honest to God, was one of the best one-on-one ladder matches I ever saw. Tony Schiavone didn't want to be out there. In the end, there was no point to them being on the beach. There was no point to them being outside. He just softly says... My hands are frozen to this microphone. <laughs> the point was to have a fucking ridiculous segment where they're outside at a freezing-ass beach. And the order were, though, to powerbomb him. He's reluctant, but he does. And it ends with MGF doing the sit-down pose, cross-legged with all his weight on Punk's chest, which would suck, by the way. What, are you calling MGF fat? No, I'm calling a human grown-ass man heavy. They accuse him of looking like Al Bundy and also Oscar Kokoschka. Oscar Kokoschka was an Austrian artist, poet, playwright and teacher best known for his intense expressionistic portraits and landscapes wow this is a learned reference here by anthony bowens i like having smart people on my tv (laughs) wow person says that is not oscar oscar is a character from the tv show hey arnold google it that makes more sense let me look this up then oscar hey arnold okay that looks like john moxley at least we have confirmed that in fact some people are dumb (laughs) the next 10 minutes was Britt baker coming out healing the Cleveland fans because she's from Pittsburgh. And she's talking about football and then how great she is. And talking about football and then how great she is. And then talking about football and then how great she is. And I was begging for any point to come out of this. And I never got one. I was alerted. Uh, There's a lot of folks in Cleveland who also hate Baker Mayfield. Correct. So now she starts burying Baker Mayfield. And now they're cheering her. Adam Cole goes for a chair under the ring. He finds Danhausen. Danhausen poses. He doesn't really do anything because, of course, he has a broken leg. And then Dan Housen just leaves. Yeah. I mean, there's things you can do with Dan Housen. He's going to be all over BTE, Mo- I'm most sure. Of, I'm sure. And most of what Dan Housen does is it's not the wrestling part of it anyway. It's Dan Housen. Exactly. Yes. So he, he can be Dan Housen just fine. Someone was like, I can't believe this guy's going to feud with Adam Cole. I don't think he's feuding with Adam Cole. No. I think that just was how he showed up. Gave him a big old hug. And Adam was very confused. And then Orange turn the hug basically into the Matt Hardy side effect off the tunnel through the stage. I hated this finish, okay? Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. I'm a fan of Orange Cassidy, but there's people that don't get the Orange Cassidy gimmick. And there's also wives and girlfriends and everything like that. And in this match where a guy hugged another guy and then hugged him off a ramp, I was like, what? Without breaking the lock, he's able to lift Kushida up and get him in position so that Lee can hit the elevated blockbuster and get the win. It was awesome. I enjoyed this very, very much. It was the only good thing. On, I shouldn't say it was the only good thing on the show. It was one of the very few good things on the show. It was definitely all downhill after this, this match right yes, here. Yes, this was the best thing on the show. Yes, the best thing on the show. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams arrive with uh, Ollie J. And she steps out of the car with her big, giant 1990s porn star implants. These were large breasts on this woman. They're booking Braun Breaker perfectly, right? Yes. <laughs> it's like it's like we have enough ability to book exactly one guy, but like anybody else other than that, we're completely incompetent. So if you have a Braun Breaker, then you have one great, well booked babyface, and all your other babyfaces are fucking morons. All right. What? What now? What now? Well, now is uh, I don't know. What do you want to talk about? 